Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this first eight bathroom cabinet box. We're gonna be reviewing it as a server box. Over here is my cabling mess. I've got Cable City going on there. I've got my internet going on there. I've got, <laughs> check out this little switch. <laughs> I've hit it in the box. I've got a switch going on here. I've uh, got a few holes. I've got a big one, a little one, and actually another one for electricity here. Now this is a fire stop, so it's safe to drill through. Got a big hole there. This is for my electricity. So my electricity is going all the way through the wall through this cavity here, and this is my UPS. So I have a U cable running through there to power this little switch. I also got another switch there. Got a couple of cables. By the way, this is uh, this cable, this horror show, was done by a certified cabler. Because over in Australia, you need to get registered licensed cablers to do this kind of monstrosity for you. Nonetheless, I previously bought a big massive server box and it was really deep. Look, at, just look how big it is. It's just, it's, it's made my, my house the size of a mouse's house. It's, I got nothing to put inside it. I'm not one of those server people. To be honest with you, confession, all I wanted to do was put one of these little switches in it. And all the network people out there were saying, oh, you need a server box. Yeah. It, I'd just walk into it and bang my head if I was to put it there. So I'm trying out a first aid box. So this sandal Ford comes in two different sizes. I've got the medium and the large. I checked out the large and it was a bit big for this cavity. The good thing about the large one is that it does have extra holes for airflow, but I'm gonna be having lots of airflow coming in through this cavity because I'm gonna be modifying the first aid box to fit inside there. And there's lots of space for my kind of switches, the little baby stuff. Obviously, if I had some serious servers, I'd need a server box, but Let's just see if this little first aid kit works. I think it will look gorgeous just over there, hiding all the cables and all the switches inside there. So the first thing I need to do is just measure out where the holes will be. All right, so this box is just 31 and a half centimeters wide, 36 centimeters tall. That's right, so it's just round about this line to this line here. can see that we're going down eight centimeters and going in six centimeters. Right here, it still looks good. So I reckon I've placed it well. So I'm just gonna use a metal drill bit just to get the hole going. So the reason why I did that is because this hole saw is actually made for plasterboard and wood, not metal. So I'm just trying my best. Almost done. I just wanna get this job done today, so I'm just hacking it. All right, job done. Hmm. If I would have just done it right the first time around, it would have been beautiful. the lowest it will go. That's a good height. So somewhere like there is the height I want to aim for. So all of these cables need to go through that patch that I just made. So 
So I've got a level here just to make sure this line is straight. And perfect. So left, we're gonna go 5.5 and down we want to go eight. So down eight. So this line here and 5.5 around there. So our first dot is going to be here, there. So I'm just going to make some holes. great because this is on a stud so I'll have two on a stud and two on plasterboard all right perfect so we've got our anchors in place and I've got two lined up with the stud And now we're just going to hang it and screw it in. Nice. That is rock solid, that one. Solid. Last one. There you go. All right, nice and solid. And it's perfectly straight, as you can see right there. Perfectly level. Oh, that's looking gorgeous. And it's gonna close there. Oh, what, what? Come on, you, got, you gotta give me credit. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? All right guys, there you have it. Finished off the install, this is my new server box. Obviously I'm just putting little mini routers in there. Something I might consider doing in the future is maybe putting a second hole up there. That way I have two compartments because the access point behind is pretty huge. So I might just give myself space or I'll just remove that shelf. But overall, it was a quick job, easy mod. One of my biggest regrets was not getting the right size hole saw. Hmm. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong one, so I had to do it twice, so that way it doesn't look good in the future. However, I can always just touch it up if I'm that obsessive, but since it's out of the way, or won't notice. What I love about it is look how slim it is. It's very slim and flush. So there you go, guys. If you're thinking of an out-of-the-box solution for a server box, check out First Aid Kit. Hope you guys found this video useful. Enjoy the show.